Praise Hallelujah. Amen. It's good to have everyone coming on with us tonight. This is a walk in the garden. We're glad to have you if you're coming on with us. We're going to give you some time with some people jump. Please, when you jump on, hit the share button. Share it with as many people as you can. And let's get it out. <clears throat> We're going to be talking about the importance of the Holy Spirit tonight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're so excited to be back with you tonight. We're going to be talking about the importance of having the Holy Spirit. You can hit the share button and you jump on with us tonight. This is a walk in the garden, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Every Wednesday night when we're not out of town or something, we jump on. We're glad to have you on with us. Share to your friends, your family, your neighbors. To jump on with us, let's have some fun. If you have a prayer request tonight, we love to pray with you. That's one of our main goals is it is to pray for people, be a blessing to someone, love on somebody. So if you have a prayer request, you have a need tonight, please jot it in the comments. We will be glad to pray over them, and we will definitely be looking at the comments later. So if you're watching this later after our live, still put it in the comments because I'm going to go back and I'm going to pray over them again later to look at them. So if you have a need, please jump in there and let's do that. Well, while we're letting some people jump on with us, Chris, won't you uh, open us up with the word of prayer? Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight, Lord. We thank you for being here. We thank you for your presence, Lord. We ask that you would touch and move over this this meeting tonight, Lord. And we ask that the words that will come forth, Father, that people will take it and, and use it for the kingdom and your glory tonight, God. Mm -hmm. And we ask that you would touch each and every one, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, we welcome Holy Spirit tonight. We welcome Holy Spirit into this live tonight. Yes. We're going to be talking about the Holy Spirit, which is a person. We're going to be talking about the person of the Holy Spirit tonight. And we welcome him into this meeting, this time, this live. And we are glad to be here with you. This is a walk in the garden. Please hit the share button when you jump on with us. Share it with your friends and neighbors. Tell everybody about it. We are going, and I'll tell you one of the things we're going to do for tonight. Before we jump off here tonight, I'm going to pray that people will receive the Holy Spirit this night. Yes, amen. So if you need the Holy Spirit tonight, before I get off, I'm going to pray that you get it. And you say, well, I don't believe that works. Well, I know it works because we've had people who's watched our lives Yes. And we, and one girl goes to our church, got the Holy Ghost, watching one of our lives. Amen. And you can get the Holy Spirit. It's a gift. It's from God. Has nothing to do with us. Has all to do with Him. You can get that gift tonight while you're watching this live, while you're watching this time together, while we're teaching, while we're talking about the Holy Spirit. And uh, you can have it right now. You, I mean, you don't even have to wait till I start praying. You can just receive it while we're doing it, while we're talking. Yes. And he'll come because he is a, he is a, a gift. Yes. yes, amen. And you know Jesus said, "I must leave so he can come." Amen. And he came. Hallelujah! Amen. Ain't that awesome? Well, guys, what we got to talk about? Some scriptures over there in the word. Yeah. So I've got a scripture here. It says the Holy Spirit empowers us to be witnesses of Jesus. Mm. This is found in Acts one and eight. It says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes into you. And you will be my witness, telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So one of the things we're talking about tonight, if you're just jumping on with us, you're just getting on. We're talking about why do I need the Holy Spirit? Yeah. Well, why is the importance of having the Holy Spirit? Well, she just gave us a scripture. What's that scripture? It says, The no. Holy Spirit empowers us to be witnesses of Jesus. Where's that Acts, at? Acts 1 and 8. Acts 1 and 8. So it's the Bible. It says, The Holy Spirit gives me the power to testify to others. Mm -hmm. So, well, the reason we're talking tonight is we're talking about why do I need the Holy Spirit? What's important about the Holy Spirit? Why do I even need to get the Holy Spirit? In my opinion, you need the Holy Spirit to go to Walmart. Maybe but that's me. <laughs> so, so, but I believe. One of the things you need to know, just this one scripture, 
Jesus said, I'll give you the Holy Ghost so you can testify to others. Mm -hmm. One of the main things I believe God wants from us as a Christian is to be a living testimony. Right. Mm -hmm. Is to be a living testimony. You're a light set upon a hill that others might see. Mm -hmm. Might see. So if you can see your testimony to others of his goodness, his love, his guidance, his power. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I think one of the main things that, that we need to know about having the Holy Spirit is, is when that Holy Spirit comes in us to live with us and guide us and direct us, mm -hmm. he do not just come so we can speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. He comes and gives me power yes. that I can tell everyone I know <clears throat> of the goodness of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it helps us to know what, uh, you know, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit uh, speaks through us and helps us to know what to say to others. Yeah. You know, because a lot of times we don't know their situation mm -hmm. or we don't know what they've been through in their life, but with the Holy Spirit, it will speak through us and tell us what to say to that spirit, that, that person and what they need at that time. Gives us wisdom you know, and understanding. Mm -hmm. yeah. Words of knowledge. He gives me yes. all kinds of stuff. Amen. Holy Spirit brings everything I need at the time I need it. One of the things I love about the Holy Spirit is this, is the Bible says when I pray in the Holy Spirit, when I don't know what to pray, He does. Yes. Yes. So I don't know about you, but I've had times in my life where I didn't know what else to pray. Mm -hmm. you, know, I, you may have never had that time. I'm mm -hmm. glad if you have. But I've had times where I prayed everything I knew to pray. I done everything I knew to do. And it just didn't seem like nothing was going where I needed to go. Mm -hmm. So one thing I knew, though, was I had the Holy Spirit. And the Bible had told me that if I would pray through the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit would pray through me mm -hmm. the right thing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if anybody knows this or not, but there's a, there's a right way to pray in situations. Yes. And sometimes you can pray the wrong way and never get an answer. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And the thing with the Holy Spirit, when we have the Holy Spirit, he will come and pray through us. And when he prays through us, he gives us the power and the revelation and the knowledge of what to come out of us that will get to the Father and bring the right answer in the right time. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's awesome to me. Right there's enough for me to know I need the Holy Spirit. Yes, right. I mean, if you don't know you need the Holy Spirit, you need to know the Spirit just to know how to pray right. That's right. Yeah. You just, just to know how to pray when you don't know how to pray. Mm -hmm. And you may, may have a friend or someone call you and say, I need prayer. And, you know, we can pray, mm -hmm. but we don't know what to pray. So but he God, does. But God mm -hmm. does. Holy right? Spirit. And so that Holy Spirit, um, yeah, will, will pray through us and tell us what to pray in those times. Cause especially speak through someone's, you. Yeah, speak mm -hmm. through you in those times when people are going through bad situations. And we may not know what to say or do uh, or pray. Mm -hmm. But the Holy Spirit always does. So. Yeah, but... At John 14, 26, it says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. And Jesus bring Lord. all things. All things. All things. Uh -huh. And bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said to you. Mm. That's Jesus. Talking. That's another thing I love about the Holy Spirit. He's our I'll tell you a little story. I'll tell you a little story on myself. You, when I first got saved, back when I first got into ministry, when I first got saved, I was I was trying to preach one night, and <clears throat> there just wasn't nothing coming because there wasn't nothing in me. Okay, I didn't know nothing. I had to study enough. Hadn't didn't know nothing. Okay, nothing was coming out. But I thought that scripture you read that the Holy Ghost would bring out of me what I needed any time. Okay, and that is what it says. But he can't bring something out of us that ain't in us. That's right. See, I thought he would just bring remembrance of anything that God knew in the Bible that would come out of me anytime I wanted it to just because I had him. Mm -hmm. But that ain't what it means. And it means that he will bring everything out. Because when you read that scripture that, that God has put in you, you put in yourself with God. Yeah. And I didn't, I thought, well, he'll just stop bringing stuff out of me. He'll just come out of me. <laughs> well, there's nothing in there for him to bring out. I was in there with some stuff I'd learned through the world. And I had just got saved. I'd just mm -hmm. been in church a little while. Yeah. But I, as I started studying and as I started leaning on God and praying and seeking the Lord and finding revelation and finding the Word, then God, when I go back to start preaching, go to some more minister, then the Holy Spirit would start bringing that stuff out back of out of me. <laughs> and I thought, oh, that's how that works. That's what it means. Yeah, you know, I'm a hillbilly. I'm a country boy. I have to learn stuff very simple and hard. So 
I got to find out, you know, if I study to show myself approved, which is what the word tells us, if I do that, then when I need that stuff, even if I don't remember it, mm-hmm. the Holy Spirit does. Yes. He remembers that, hey, you remember that night you set up a study? Yeah. That's, I love this. You know, I can sit and study at my table for hours, and, and I might forget all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I might not remember nothing. Mm-hmm. People sit here and tell me all the time, I don't like to study because I don't comprehend anything. Yeah. It's impossible to study and not comprehend. Mm-hmm. Why well, I say that? Because the Bible says that his word never returns void. Mm-hmm. If you have the Holy Spirit, it is impossible for that stuff not to stay in there whenever you need it not to come out of you. Because he said, if you got the Holy Spirit, when you need that, yeah. he yeah. will bring that out of you. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I love that part. Nothing else. There's another reason. Nothing else. I want the Holy Ghost yes. so right. he can think for me when yes. I can't think of it. That's right. So true. Uh-huh. Hmm. It's good stuff. And uh, so now we've done got two things there just real quick. I mean, he's, the Holy Spirit's given me the power to talk to others. Mm-hmm. That's what the Word says. Yes. Now the Holy Spirit's giving me the right things to pray. Mm-hmm. Now he's bringing, there's three things. He's bringing, he's bringing everything to remembrance that I've studied right. and when I need it. Mm-hmm. So we got all this stuff working for us. All this stuff's going good to help us with the Holy Spirit. So we need Holy Spirit. And if you don't have the Holy Spirit now, we need to get you to get the Holy Spirit before we get off here. Amen. 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 Um, well, I've got uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 12. It says, For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. So he gives us needed revelation. Mm-hmm. So. So the Holy Spirit is like a carrier. Yeah. He can carry revelation to me when mm-hmm. I need it. Yes. So I can ask Holy Spirit to help me get revelation, and that revelation will come to me from God through yes. the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm, it's good stuff. Yes, God. Let's see. Matthew 10, 20. Mm-hmm. Jesus promised his disciples that the Spirit of God who they would receive would speak through them in times of need. He stated that they didn't need to worry about what the words, what words to use when questioning, but that the Holy Spirit would speak through them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. That's good. So that they would know. Mm-hmm. They would have that so knowledge. That we were just yes. talking about a while ago. Mm-hmm. He's so good. That they would get that knowledge when time come that they need knowledge. Mm-hmm. It's like what he told Peter. He said, Peter, we're going to come and get you. But when they come to get you, don't worry about what to say. Because mm-hmm. yeah, when you get there, I'm going to tell you what to say. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. And it's nice to know that someone's <laughs> going with me is going to tell me what to say when I'm in trouble. I don't know about you, but that's a good thing to have with you. I mean, you may, you may think it's not, but if you get in trouble <laughs> and you're needing something and you don't know what to say when you get in trouble and you know the Holy Spirit's there with you, He's going to tell me what to say. When they, when they say, you know, you got, you got Paul, he's locked up in a jail cell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I was thinking about that the other day, Paul, you know, Paul's in jail cell, it was him and Paul and Silas in jail cell, and they're locked up, and, and out of the blue, they decide to sing and worship. I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know something I told them? I'll be here day, yes. <laughs> I mean, you had to tell me. Yeah. I can promise you. If I'm in a jail cell up, and the, when you study that out, it says they was in sewage up to the rankers. That's the last thing I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm standing in sewage <laughs> in a jail cell. I can promise you my mind, yeah. my mind, not my mind, is not going to be thinking about what was worse for Lord. Yeah. <laughs> about me. Now, it's just all serve God here in this jail cell. I know there's poop running through here, but I know yeah. it's just all worse for No. Especially, especially, especially the dark. Yeah, dark. Yeah, I can tell you exactly yeah. what happened. Holy yeah. shit, I believe came to Paul and says, Hey, if you're still worship running. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Enable them to worship. Oh, he enabled them through the Spirit. Amen. The Holy Spirit helped Paul through the Spirit. Raised his hands and started worshiping him with silence. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, though, even though I'm in this John Roman jail cell, you're good. Mm-hmm. And then it says it's all about midnight. You know, the jail started rocking. Oh man, that gets me one more. That's right. I mean, just think about that. Because of that, mm-hmm. the jail door only opened 
the whole family, yard's family gets saved. Yeah. It's always about souls. Mm -hmm. It's always about reaping a harvest. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all that brought a harvest of souls in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah. (laughs) Holy Spirit. I feel the Holy Spirit in here right now. It's rolling around this building here pretty good. 1 John 2, 27 teaches that the anointing that God gave us teaches us all things. That anointing is the Holy Spirit, our teacher. Mm-hmm. That's right. That goes back to what you used to teach and I was mm-hmm. talking about a while ago. That's that, that same scripture you're talking about again. He gives me air. This is one of the things. <clears throat> this is one of the things. This is why you need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit, He will let me know everything I need to know. Mm-hmm. That's all, right. things. Mm-hmm. all things. It doesn't matter what I know. Mm-hmm. He knows all things. Mm-hmm. If I got Him with me, if he's in the car with me, I might not know what I'm doing, but I can promise you he knows what he's doing. I may not know where I'm going, but the Holy Spirit knows what I'm going. Right. He's my he's my guide, he's my director, he's my lead, yes. he's my guidance. Who I feel the Holy Ghost right yes. there. About the way run around this room. He's my teacher, he's yeah. my guide, he's my direction. Yes. Mm-hmm. He's my leader. He's my leader. And if he leads me, where he leads me, I will follow. That's yes, right. Uh, yes. We need the Holy Spirit, guys. Yes. We need the Holy Ghost. Yes. If you don't have him, you need him. Tonight. Yes, yes. He'll give you power that's far beyond your abilities. Yeah, that's right. And the Holy Spirit anoints us to do our purpose. Mm. In Isaiah 61 and 1, it says, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon me, for the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. Mm. He has sent me to comfort and brought the brokenhearted and to proclaim that captives will be released and prisoners will be set free. Mm. Yeah. So the Holy Spirit no. He comes and gives me power. Yeah. To, yeah. to accomplish my my, work, purpose. Purpose. my purpose, my destiny, my call. Yeah. You can't even you can't even I'm telling you all in right now. It's all working me. I'm about to get down. I'm telling you, it's all up in here. I don't know if y'all feel like that when we're feeling here, but the Holy Ghost is here. Yes. So so man, the Holy Ghost comes. Not only do I need the Holy Ghost for other things we're talking about, but I need the Holy Ghost. Just to fulfill my purpose yes. and destiny. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I need the Holy Ghost. Yes. That's what we're talking about. Here. We, why do I need the Holy Ghost? I need the Holy Ghost so I can accomplish what God wants. Yeah. Your purpose. purpose. Yes. My purpose. Yes. My God. Yeah. Yes. So you can have the understanding of His Word and of His truth and all the things that pertains to mm-hmm. the Lord Himself. I mean, Holy Ghost. I, it's like you know, people tell me this all the time. I don't read the Bible because I don't understand the Bible. Yeah. Well, the Bible says He'll give you understanding. That's mm-hmm. right. How's he get there? Yeah, through what? Oh, That's exactly right. He gives me understanding. He'll bring me understanding through the Holy yes. Spirit. The Holy Spirit will bring me understanding of his word. If I ask for understanding and wisdom, mm-hmm. he'll bring that through to me because the Spirit will bring it through me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if I don't have the Holy Spirit, how am I going to get all this stuff? I'm yeah, I mean, half the people even more don't even want the Holy Spirit around. They don't even like the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes yeah. I wonder if they like God. No, the, ho- <laughs> the Holy yeah. Spirit, you know, the, the Holy Spirit is holiness in itself. And it right. He brings the purity mm-hmm. into our lives. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not, also, you know, the thing is, is the Holy Spirit's going to going to keep you from doing some things. Oh, yeah. You know, so he's going to keep you in check. Yeah, he's yes. going to keep you in check. Yes. He's going to keep check you clean. Yeah, you start to do something and you, feel that, you have that feeling come on. I better not do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It sure does. You better not do it. Yeah. Now, I want to go to the Lord one time and I was getting ready to give him a piece of my mind because he's acting good. Yeah. And, and, and something rose up in me. And this is way in the It's been night. The guy's on the phone. Mm-hmm. Acting good. And the Holy Spirit said, you better not do that. Yeah. 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 And out, out of me getting the Holy Spirit, because I like to go, because I'm human. And sometimes I do some human stuff. But I, I mean, I try to stay in the Spirit. <clears throat> Paul said stay in the Spirit always. But, you know, I, I come up short like everybody else. Yeah. And that night was midnight, and this guy's going off on the phone. And I was thinking to myself, hmm, and the Holy Spirit says, you're going to do it. And in a matter of days, through that, God helped bring that guy to the Lord. That's right. Mm-hmm. And it was all set up by the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Not because of me, but because the Holy Spirit knew. The Holy Spirit knew what to do. He knew how to do it. Yeah. The Holy Spirit knows things that we don't know. Hey, Pastor Jeff, good to see you. 
we're talking about the Holy Spirit, and I'm talking about why do we need it. And uh, this is a walk in the gardens, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock when we start, Central Time. Try to do it every Wednesday night, sometimes in between. We're glad to be here with you tonight. I hope that you're enjoying tonight. I hope you've had a good day. We've been working outreach and trying to get ready for the end of the month. And so hit the share button if you're coming on with us. Please share this video with all your friends and family. Uh, if you're just jumping on, if you have a prayer request, we'd love to pray with you. Just jot it in the comments. Love to uh, pray with you tonight in uh, any way we can help you. What else you guys got over our head away? You're quiet. John 16, 8 states that the Holy Spirit convicts of sin, righteousness, and judgment. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit judges me. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he also convicts me. Yes. yes. So the Holy Spirit can keep me in check. Amen. Right. So he's going to let me know if I'm starting to get across the line somewhere I'm going to be getting across. Oh, yeah. So in other words, he's like, he's like a rope tied to me that's tied me to God. And when I get away from where I need to be, he kind of just pulls me back oh, to yeah. God. Back to oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, in John 16 and 7, it said that, um, nevertheless, I tell you the truth, is it is to your advantage that I go away. This was talking about Jesus mm -hmm. when he left and went to heaven. For if I do not go, the helper will not come. Mm -hmm. So we got to help him. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what the Holy Spirit And it was so important that Jesus said it was mm -hmm. our advantage. Mm -hmm. yes. It's yeah. our advantage that Jesus right. Right. Yeah. and sent him. Yeah. yeah. It's our advantage. Yeah. So that's pretty important. Yeah. Hmm. And it says, but if I go, I will send him to you. And then that's what it talks mm -hmm. about. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning the sins and righteousness mm -hmm. and judgment. Hey, buddy. So, yeah, I mean, as important as mm -hmm. Jesus was, he said, you know, I can. Then it's, it's, a, oh, it's yeah. my advantage that he leaves. Yeah. Because yeah. he's going to send the comforter back. Yeah. He's going to send somebody to walk with me. He's going to help me. He's going to be my help. Mate. Teacher, he is. Oh, he's with my help. <laughs> he's my help. He's my yes. present help in time of need. Yes. And that's why everybody needs him. I'll tell you something else. I'll tell you why I need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is God. Yes. Yeah. Well, God is the Holy Spirit because mm -hmm. they're three in one. Mm -hmm. The Father, right. Son, and the Holy Ghost. Right. It's all three in one. You can't have one without the other. Yeah. Yeah. We you know, have the Holy Spirit. You ain't got, I mean, you got to have the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. So saying that then, you know, like in Job uh, 33, 4, it says uh, that the Spirit of God is a creator, right? Because mm -hmm. it says the Spirit of God hath made me. The Spirit of God hath made me. And the breath of Almighty has given me life. Mm -hmm. So he's a creator also. It's mm -hmm. mm. good stuff. It is good. Well, what do you say? What do you say? That the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. has helped shape you. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. So if He's helped shape you, then He's helped create you. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not in your old being, but in your <clears throat> spirit. Yes. In my spirit being, I'm a new creature yeah. in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Old things pass away, all things come in. But we all know that's a process that happens yes. over the time. It's, it's that transformation that started right. with salvation. But how did that happen? Jesus said, the Bible says, that the Holy Spirit is a creator. Mm -hmm. Well, could it be he's talking about how he creates that new man in us? Yes. As he shapes, he molds, he makes yeah. us into something that I wasn't, yeah. now yeah. I am. And the reason that I am is because the Holy Spirit has made That's me exactly that. Right. Yeah. He started chiseling away at me. Mm -hmm. and he started saying, hey, that ain't good. That's not mm -hmm. right. That's he not right. Away. That ain't who yeah. God is. Mm -hmm. Could he be the one that reminds me the Bible says that I am created to be in the image of Christ. Mm -hmm. So if I'm created to be in the image of Christ, what's create, what is what is with me that's telling me how to be that? <clears throat> I know we have examples, mm -hmm. but not only do we have examples, but we have the Holy Spirit who's chiseling away at me mm -hmm. and showing me what that looks like. Right. This ain't Christ. Ching, ching, ching. Right. This ain't Christ. And it's that Holy yeah. Spirit. It's that tug. It's that, it's that thing that draws on my heartstrings and saying, hey, that don't look like Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, that needs to get out of here. It's God in yeah. That's that yeah. created spirit, the Holy yeah. Spirit. Yeah. Amen. Mm, it's good stuff. Yeah, it's good. And we're talking about why we need the Holy Spirit. 
I don't know about you, but I need the Holy Spirit every day, Amen. every minute, every yes. day of yes. my life. The Holy Spirit drawed me to Christ. Yes. The Holy Spirit's going to keep me to get to Christ. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit's going to keep me to get to the end to Christ. Yeah. Holy Spirit is what I, I need the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's just like in Galatians, it, it's got the fruits of the Spirit. Yes. You know, love, joy, I mean, uh, um, Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, mm -hmm. uh, temperance, meekness. And, you know, all of that is where he teaches us to be that, to that's have right. it, to have love, joy, yeah. peace. That's where, that's the part of shaping us and, and yeah, you know, that's the right. creation part. That's right. You know, with that Holy Spirit, he teaches us to be gentle with people yeah. and mm -hmm. to have a love of joy. And that's part of, you know, the characters of the Holy Spirit. That needs to be within us. And it, with the Holy Spirit, we will have that. Mm -hmm. And that's where He creates us and, and molds yes. us and teaches us to be mm -hmm. what we need to be. It's that Creator. And again, that's when he, when we do have all of that, we can we can have our purpose. We can go toward our purpose because that's when we can help others. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, people are going to listen to you a whole lot more if you have oh, yeah. kindness. That's right. And gentleness. Mm -hmm. And that's where. You know, you can witness to, you know, you be the witness to others because that Holy Spirit's going to make you gentle and kind and be able to speak to those people. You know. So. Yeah, the scripture says, he says in the scripture, he says, <coughs> pray in the Holy Ghost that you stir up your most holy faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit's not only something I need for other things, but he's one of the ways that I get the most holy faith that yeah. I can get. Mm -hmm. So I get my holiest faith when I'm praying in tongues. Yes. I'm stirring myself up and praying in tongues. When I pray in tongues, when I just sit there and pray in tongues for hours and hours of time, that's stirring up that faith in me. That's building up yes. my faith. That's building up my faith and building up my faith. And, and that faith is building to that new level because the Bible says we have a measure of faith. So if I have a measure of faith, that can increase, that can decrease, that can go up, that can go down. Mm -hmm. And we all had a measure given to us, but he didn't, he, didn't, right. he didn't increase it. You increase it because the Bible says faith mm -hmm. comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. So when I pray in tongues, I increase my faith level because I'm starting up my most holy faith, my most mm -hmm. holy faith. Mm -hmm. yes. And so we need the Holy Ghost. We need the Holy Ghost close to us. We need the Holy, <coughs> we need the Holy Ghost every day. And what we're talking about is why do I need the Holy Ghost? I mean, if you're joining in with us. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, uh, so there's so much things that the Holy Spirit yeah. does for me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, the Holy Spirit tells me when something's not right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, I can walk in a place and the Holy Spirit will tell me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Because He knows. Because yeah. He knows all and He teaches me That's all. That's right. Mm -hmm. I know what I know through the Holy Spirit if I stay in the Spirit. Yeah. My Spirit connects with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit and me will connect and then we will be able to walk in, in the Spirit. Yeah. It's impossible to walk in the Spirit without the Holy Spirit because you can't walk in the Spirit without the Holy Spirit leads you in the Spirit. Yeah. He teaches me all things. He leads me in all my ways. The Holy Spirit does it. Holy Spirit does. Yeah. I need the Holy Spirit to teach me, mm -hmm. guide me, direct me, lead me. It's like I, I know spirits because the Holy Spirit tells me that, that spirit's not right, that spirit's not right, that spirit's good, that spirit's not. Uh, I, the Holy Spirit will, will move me away from harm and keep me in safety. The Holy Spirit, you know, he's a guy direct. He's my safety net with God. Right. I don't have the Holy Spirit driving anybody. Oh, yeah. I don't have Him driving my life. He leads me mm -hmm. in the path of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Who leads me? The Holy Spirit leads me in the path of righteousness. See? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He helps you make good decisions, you know. Mm -hmm. You make bad decisions yes. with the Holy Spirit. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of decisions in your life that... Um, you know, jobs, you know, uh, oh, yeah. jobs that you're offered or uh, something as little as a vehicle that you're buying yeah. or a loan that you're getting or, you know, it can be little things even. But the Holy Spirit will let you know what to do. And He'll lead you and He'll Amen. tell you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you lean on Him, you know, you don't want to go out and do something without asking Him. You know, mm -hmm. you want to make sure. Well, man, I want to always to pray. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Man, I want to all the ways to pray. 
before he does anything you want to pray. And, uh, and if you pray and lean in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit will lead you in all His ways, the right ways. Yes. Holy Spirit never leads you wrong. That's right. You'll lead yourself wrong, but the Holy <clears throat> Spirit never leads you wrong, so I need the Spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Titus 3 and 4 through 6, He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ our Savior. Even in uh, Luke 1, or, or Luke 4, 1, it says that Jesus was full of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. and, then it, and then it goes on mm -hmm. to, so we should be full of the Holy Ghost. Right. Then it goes on into <clears throat> Matthew, um, you know, the Holy Ghost is uh, for the working mm -hmm. of miracles. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's yeah. where healing and casting out devils. And, mm -hmm. you know, yes. yeah. Yeah. Spirit helps you do all that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Holy Spirit helps you to operate in your gifts. That's right. Your gifts without the Spirit was useless. Yes. Right. It's like having the Word without the power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. That's right. It's like, you know, it's like you know, it's like trying to operate in the Spirit but not having no Spirit. Mm -hmm. It don't work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost. We're talking about the Holy Ghost. Talking about the Holy Ghost tonight. We're talking about what is, why do we need the Holy Ghost? We need the Holy Ghost to do everything. That's right. Mm -hmm. We need the Holy Ghost to do yes. everything. Amen. Yes. Yeah, we need the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost guides me. He directs me. He helps me. He, he shapes me. He, uh, the Holy Spirit will, will keep me safe. The Holy Spirit mm -hmm. will show me all the things I need to know. The Holy Spirit will help me to pray when I don't know what to pray. Mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit, we need the Holy Spirit. He's, uh, he'll bring back to remembrance everything that I forget. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit bring it back. Every time I study it, I don't remember the Holy Spirit brings it back to me. He shows me. And when, I've, when I'm in time of need, he'll let me know what I'm supposed to speak. He'll tell me what I'm not supposed to speak. Holy Spirit knows everything that he has come out of me. Talking about the Holy Ghost. See, a lot of people think the Holy Spirit just so I can speak in tongues, just so I can mm -hmm. dance. Chapter, the Holy Spirit's a lot bigger mm -hmm. than what maybe Pentecostal people have let it out to be. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more important than just to shout and jump and haul and run and speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues is just the evidence that I have the Spirit unless I'm praying in tongues and then you know, it's a different part of the Holy Spirit. But we get all that stuff. It's different parts of the Holy Spirit. You know, there's a tongue interpretation. There's, you mm -hmm. know, there's the Holy Spirit that, of tongue talking. And, and you know, interpretation is, a, you know, the Holy Spirit can give me a word of interpretation. The Holy Spirit can give me a word of knowledge. So the Holy Spirit can do a lot of stuff through me. Mm -hmm. But sometimes all we think it is is someone jabbering and someone running and shouting. But the Holy Spirit is so much bigger than that. He's a great, he's a great big thing in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't even think we understand it all. Mm -hmm. He anoints us. He guides us. He, mm -hmm. he gives mm -hmm. us power. He sanctifies us. Mm -hmm. He allows us to be able to bear witness. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. just so much there. Yeah, without the Holy Spirit, you can't, you can't do any of them. That's right. And so many people think they don't need the Holy Spirit, but mm -hmm. you need the Holy Spirit. Amen. Without the Holy Spirit, you'll never accomplish your goals. The Bible talks about it. We just talked about it while going Scripture. Yeah. He helps you accomplish your, your destiny. That's right, amen. So, you know, you have to have all that stuff. Yeah. Got something back? Galatians 4, 6, he releases the cry to the Father. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. That's right. That's good. The Holy Spirit. Yeah. What I love about the Holy Spirit, we, we can't even see someone saved unless the Holy Spirit draws them. Right, right. The Bible says, unless the Spirit draweth you, you can't be saved. Man can't be saved. They can't even be saved without that Spirit draws them. Mm -hmm. i got to have the Holy Spirit. That's right. Yeah. yeah. But he gives us discernment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's true. The Holy Spirit is discernment. Yeah. Yes. Galatians 3 14 says he is the promise of the blessing of Abraham. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. 
Amen. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit. We're talking about the Holy Spirit. I like this. Uh, it's just something on my line. The Holy Spirit is our mark of adoption as God's children. Jesus mm. sent the Holy wow. Spirit to his followers so they could be confident in their salvation. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like that. Because the Spirit gives you confidence. Mm -hmm. Spirit gives you God. Spirit mm -hmm. gives you prayer. power. It's like the Holy Spirit gives you the power to testify to others. You can't have the power to testify without the Holy Spirit. Right. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. That's good stuff. So many people are deceived. They don't know what the Holy Spirit's for. They don't even know how to get the Holy Spirit. They don't even understand that they need the Holy Spirit. People think they can just go through their life and only, you can, but you'll miss out on all stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Without the Holy Spirit, you're going to miss the boat on a whole bunch yeah. of stuff. Yeah, the power is in the Holy Spirit. That's mm -hmm. right. Power. And you know, people, uh, you know, being saved is wonderful, you know. Yes, yeah, that's just great. Right. Mm -hmm. But what they don't realize is the Holy Spirit is so much more and it makes your life so much easier. Uh, mm -hmm. to live a Christian life because the Holy Spirit is such a helper uh, when it comes to your salvation. Mm -hmm. Usually so, the power overcomes mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. A lot of people can't overcome stuff because they don't have the Holy, the Spirit. Holy Spirit. And they're weak and anemic and they keep falling into sins and keep falling into problems, mm -hmm. keep falling away from God. Mm -hmm. And the reason they keep falling away is because they don't have anybody to give them power. They don't have anybody to give them strength. That mm -hmm. Spirit, that Holy Spirit, it keeps them. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. In one place, the Bible says the Holy Spirit seals you. Yeah. Yeah. It seals yeah. you in God. The Holy Spirit seals you in God. Yeah. That's right. In uh, Romans 14, 17, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy mm -hmm. in, in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's your peace, your joy, your righteousness. That's what righteousness is. Yes. You can't have righteousness without having the Holy Spirit. Right. Because yeah. righteousness is joy, peace, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. They all work together. Yes. All of us together. And that's the thing. A lot of people say, well, I just, you know, I'm saved, so I don't need the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And that's the devil trying to mm -hmm. deceive you. Yeah. And make you think you don't need it because mm -hmm. he knows how, how much power you're going to have with it. Mm -hmm. Man. So that's. Uh, and most of them don't even understand it was the Holy Spirit that drove them to get saved. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. Yes. The same Holy Spirit that drove them to get saved is the same Holy Spirit that they need to receive. Mm -hmm. That's right. As a gift. But it says, you say, a lot of people, they think that the Holy Ghost is, you know, someone up there uh, shouting, jumping, shaking, and those mm -hmm. kinds of things. And yes. so. Most people are too yeah. dignified to us. They're like, I don't want to act like that. Mm -hmm. you got to have the Holy Spirit. I don't want any part of that. Well, but they don't have the deeper meaning of it. Exactly. It's just like holy laughter. I mean, the Holy Spirit is what makes you get holy laughter. The yes. Spirit brings that to you. That's mm -hmm. right. And, it, and the Holy Spirit comes on you, and, and the laughter comes on mm -hmm. you, and the laughter replaces the depression, the, the sorrow, I mean, any kind yeah. of thing that's going on in your life. And the joy of the Lord's joy is the Lord's strength. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. All that stuff comes mm -hmm. through the Holy Spirit. Yes. If you don't believe in the Holy Spirit, you ain't gonna get none of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Most people don't want none of that because they don't believe in it because yeah. they don't understand that. Yeah, that's and right. the problem is, people want to try to understand something that you'll never have the capability of totally understand. We're never mm -hmm. gonna understand all of God. Right. That's right. Not yeah. here. Right. And until we get there, we're gonna have questions. We're gonna have questions. When I get there, I got questions. Oh yeah. There's things I don't understand. I don't have to understand to know he's God, know he's the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yes. I don't have to understand to know that the Holy Spirit's right here in this room with me tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't have to understand that I know that he helps me, he guides me, he leads me, right. directs me, he keeps me. That's right. He's good. It says uh, in John 16, 13, it talks about uh, all truth and knowledge is in the Holy The Holy Spirit tells what it yet to come. The Holy yes. Spirit is called the Spirit of Truth because He guides mm -hmm. believers into all truth. Jesus told His disciples the Holy Spirit would make known what He hears and would only speak what the Father speaks. Mm. Say it again. Says uh, the it's Holy Spirit. Okay, Jesus told His disciples the only 
The Holy Spirit would make known what he hears and would only speak what the Father speaks. It goes on, it says, But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears. And he will tell you what is yet to come. Mm -hmm. He will glorify me because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will receive from me what he will make known to you. And that's John 16. So the Spirit's a carrier from God. Yeah. yeah. So God can take the Holy Spirit and get stuff to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. he, can, he can talk through the Holy Spirit to me. Yeah. The Holy Spirit talks. He's a spirit of truth. So he's a spirit of truth. And the Holy yes. Spirit don't lie. He can't tell me a lie. The Holy Spirit will only tell me the truth. Yeah. And the truth will what? Make me free. Set me free. According to what translation you read. Okay. So the Holy Spirit comes to me mm -hmm. and tells me the truth mm -hmm. of God. Yeah, that's right. That's how he shapes you. That's how he molds you. That's how he creates you. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit helps create and mold you into God's yeah. likeness mm -hmm. from your old man to a new spiritual man. The Holy Spirit, he guides yeah. you, he leads mm -hmm. you in direction. He comes from God. He brings the truth. The truth will set yeah. me free to make me free. It will curve me into what God intended for me to look like. And so many times people don't want anyone nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. What do you think convicts people? Oh, it's the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think's on people's life whenever they walk close to someone and then, and the power grabs hold of them? It's mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. Spirit. That's what you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't even walk through a building and change the atmosphere without the Holy Spirit helping me change it. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I have no power to change nothing. Mm -hmm. I can change it through the Holy Spirit, though, because the Spirit, uh, Holy Spirit, in me and through me, I can. Mm -hmm. But I can't do any of that without him. But he gets that. That's right. And it's just like, you know, you want to see people saved. You don't ever get anybody saved without the Holy Spirit. Right. The Holy Spirit has to be involved in our salvation. That's like people leaving people repeat after me, they can repeat after you they're blowing a face, but if the Spirit of God don't draw them, they're not saved. Mm -hmm. They have to have a Spirit. The Spirit has to draw them. If the Spirit's not involved, then it's just words. Yeah. It's false conversions. It's not real salvation. Mm -hmm. you got to have the Spirit involved. The Spirit has to be involved in all we do. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is very important to our walk with the Lord. Amen. It's a very important thing. It's a very, it's a very important I don't think people know how important that is. And that's why we're doing this. I want people to understand the importance of having the Holy Spirit involved in our meetings, in our prayer, in our time, yes. in our lives, in our walk, in our salvation. We need the Holy Spirit. And like I said, before we go off, I'm going to pray for you to get the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray that Jesus baptizes you in the Holy Spirit. I can't Amen. baptize you, but Jesus can. The Holy Spirit comes from him, not a man. You have to be baptized through Jesus Christ into the Holy Spirit. That's, right. That's what I'm going to pray over you tonight before we leave this thing. You can get it. People's got the Holy Spirit watching our meetings and videos because the Holy Spirit's are real. It's here. It's tangible. And you can grab hold of it in the atmosphere. And it's a gift. And Paul said, I must covet the best yes. gifts. Mm -hmm. Well, the Holy Spirit's one of the best gifts that I can get. So I need the Holy Spirit. She's one of my best gifts. Amen. That I give. Amen. Amen. What else y'all guys got snuck over on? Amen. He frees us from a, from a letter of the law that gives us spirit of the law. 2 Corinthians 3, 16 and 18. But, but whenever anyone turns to the, to the Lord, the veil is taken away with the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Amen. Yeah. So the Holy Spirit brings freedom. Yes. Yes. Amen to that. This is holy freedom. I don't know why, because the Holy Spirit always keeps you safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If the Holy Spirit's involved, you don't have to worry about getting outside of God because the Holy Spirit will always guide you and keep mm -hmm. you safe and keep mm -hmm. you free. The Holy Spirit is a freedom mm -hmm. in God. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty and there's freedom. 
because the Holy Spirit is a place of freedom. That's One of the freest do. things I've ever felt in my life is when I'm in the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Holy Spirit makes me free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're in the Holy Spirit, you know, it's like you said, you, you mentioned the word safe. That's the safest I've ever felt. Oh, of course. It's like you can't be touched. It's like I am in the arms yeah. of Jesus. That's right. Nothing around me can touch me. Oh, you know, it's the presence. Yes, it's the best the presence. Ever feel. Yes. His presence of the Holy Spirit will make you feel safe. That's right. Because yeah. He sent our comfort. What yes. is a comfort? He's a place of peace. He's yes. a place of comfort. Yeah. He said, I must go so I can send one back. He yeah. is my comforter. Yes. So what he was trying to say to us is, I'm going to leave. I'm going to bring one back. He's going to wrap his arms around you. Yes. He's going to make yes. you comfortable as yes. a Christian. Definitely. In me. He's going to make you understand that I'm with you. That's right. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Mm-hmm. I'll, stay, I'll send one that sticks closer to your brother, sister, father, mother. Amen. Who is that? It's the Holy Spirit that sticks with you at close. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people go from... Uh, place to place and meeting to, from meeting um, looking for words of prophecy um, the Holy Spirit is prophecy mm-hmm. the Holy yeah. Spirit speaks prophecy exactly and the last days in Joel I'm going to pour out my spirit and, and your sons and daughters will prophesy mm-hmm. yes I'm going to pour his spirit out that's right he wants to pour his spirit out of us every day that's right mm-hmm. I mean, God wants the Holy Spirit to come out. Because, because, like I just said, well, God, I probably didn't even explain that as good as I probably needed to. Because what we must understand about the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit come in me, not so I can dance, jump, scream, right. holler, speak in tongues all the time. And all that. that's that's just stuff that motions and stuff that happens. Mm-hmm. And God's emotional, we're emotional, things happen, and there's nothing mm-hmm. wrong with that. Mm-hmm. But what we must understand is the Holy Spirit came so I could be a testimony to others. Mm-hmm. He would give me the power to testify. Yes. Well, how did he give me the power? So we quote that scripture, but we don't even know how it works. See, I can walk into Walmart and God can give me the power through the Spirit to testify to someone else. Mm-hmm. I don't even have to say a word. Right. Mm-hmm. You know how I don't? Because the Spirit draws someone to get saved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The story of Smith Wigglesworth, here's a prime example. Smith Wigglesworth would walk and sit down on a bench. In the, in the story of that book that I read, Smith Wiggins would be sitting on a bench not saying anything. The person sit down beside him, and the first thing they would do is a few minutes after they sit there, is look over him and say, what must I do to have salvation? Mm-hmm. Why is that? Because the Spirit dwells in us. Because the Spirit was, drawn. Spirit was with him. The Holy Spirit went everywhere he went. That's right. The Spirit was in him. He had the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And the Spirit draws others to God. That's right. So the Spirit in him and around him and walked with him was the same spirit that draw that person. Exactly. I'll give you the power mm-hmm. to testify to others. Mm-hmm. That that don't always mean your words. See, people said that for years. He'll give you the power to testify to others. He'll give you the power to tell your story. And he does. Yes, he does. And you can tell your story. Your stories, there's power in your story. But you can have so much of the Holy Spirit around you that the Holy Spirit will draw someone to God just because the power is around you. Mm-hmm. Because you don't draw people to God, He does. Mm-hmm. There's nothing I can do to draw someone to God. The only thing I can do is live holy, live upright and righteous for God. His righteousness may be holy through the Spirit of God. Righteousness is joy, peace, and love in the, in the Holy Ghost. Yes. It's good stuff. Mm-hmm. So people don't even understand when you get the Holy Ghost, you just got the very best key that you'll ever get to, to winning souls. Yes. Because if you stay close enough to the Holy Spirit, can I tell you what the Holy Spirit came for? The Holy Spirit is for to help you fulfill your destiny. One of the things in your destiny is to be a testimony to others and to lead others to salvation and to lead others to the light, which is Him. And He is a light. Why would we want everybody else to see the light that lives in us? Jesus says, I always said you would be one with me as I'm one with the Father. What he was saying is, I wish that you'd see the the Spirit of God that's on me, that's talking to me, that's in me, that I'm walking with, I'm listening to, and he's guiding me, he's directing me. I don't think all that time he was talking about this, some voice was talking to him. Mm-hmm. I think he was talking about, I don't know where the Holy Spirit leads me. Mm-hmm. Well, it says here, these 
all the things that God has revealed to us by the Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God, for who knows a person's thoughts except for their own Holy Spirit within them. In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. God gives His followers the Holy Spirit, so yes. we know Him better. Since the Holy Spirit is God's Spirit, it knows the thoughts of God and reveals those thoughts to believers. The Holy Spirit opens believers' eyes to the hope of salvation and their inheritance in Christ. So, and He uses us to walk with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Two people mm -hmm. to testify to others. To and what He does is the Holy Spirit, if He stays close enough and strong enough in our life, He becomes a testimony yes. to others to mm -hmm. draw them to the light. Who is Christ? Who is God? He draws them through us with the Holy Spirit to Him. Mm -hmm. So He gave us the power to testify to others. Yes, That's why you can walk through a storm. Someone can look at you and say, what must I do to have what you got? That's not you. That's the Holy Spirit in you. Right. Mm -hmm. Has nothing to do with you. Has to do with Jesus in you and the Holy Spirit in you. Right. Has to do with the power around you, which is the Holy Ghost. What must I do to have eternal life? What must I do to have what's on you? There's something about you that's different than me. What makes you different than anybody else to spread mm -hmm. around you? Mm -hmm. You are, whether you know this or not, you are putting out some kind of atmosphere in your life. Mm -hmm. You're right. either, you're either, you're, there's the vibe of heaven coming off of you or the vibe of hell. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good though. You, you serve, you only serve two masters. You serve God or you serve the heaven. Mm -hmm. One, two, you're serving one or the other. And every person has got some kind of a, of a, uh, of a, a spirit that's coming off of them and mm -hmm. it comes off of them and people feel it. People see it. You can feel people. Yes. I can feel people. As soon as I walk in a building, I can feel, I can feel, mm -hmm. I can feel the atmosphere. I know what's mm -hmm. going on in the atmosphere. There's some kind of an atmosphere that's been set by the people. You walk in the funeral home, a lot of times you feel a, a, a spirit of heaviness, a spirit of depression, a spirit of brokenness, a spirit of hurt. Mm -hmm. But you can walk right in that funeral home and in a matter of minutes you can change every bit of that atmosphere with the Holy Spirit. Yes. You can bring a spirit of joy, a spirit of peace. Spirit of all that stuff, joy, love, and peace, all in that one time, bring it right into that room. Mm -hmm. And you change the atmosphere with the stronger power. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because the Holy Spirit is stronger than the other one. Yeah. It's the same way stuff happens when we go through rooms and buildings and houses and jobs and works and stores. You, you can carry the Holy Spirit in such a way that that spirit starts coming off mm -hmm. of you and bouncing into other people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what we want. That's good. That's what we want. And we need the Holy Spirit. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. Yes. We need the Holy Spirit. We're talking about the Holy Spirit tonight. So if you're joining in with us, and you want to talk about why do I need the Holy Ghost? <clears throat> well, I'll name a few things that we've talked about. You need the Holy Ghost so you can talk to others. So the Spirit's on you will be draw others. You need the Holy Ghost to give you peace, give you comfort. You need the Holy Ghost to give you strength. You need the Holy Ghost to guide, direct, to lead, and take you to your destiny, your purpose, help you fulfill what God called you to be. You need the Holy Ghost to give you comfort and peace because sometimes you're going to have times in life that you don't, there is no peace around you. Peace is in you, not around yes. you, because it's the Holy Ghost that's in you. Mm -hmm. So peace can't, peace can't, take, you can't steal my peace because peace, the world didn't give it to me. The world can't take it away. Yes. It's mm -hmm. not around me. It's in me. Peace is in me because I have the Holy Spirit in me because right. He gives my peace. He's my comfort. He's, he gives me the strength. He gives me strength. I get strength from the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I can draw my strength from the Holy Spirit every day. I can draw off the Holy Spirit. And I can get I can get words. I can get knowledge. I can get revelation. I can get wisdom. Knowledge comes from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit brings yeah. that stuff to my mind. Brings, And then when I start thinking, I'm forgetting what I need to be doing. All I have to do is land on the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will bring everything out of me that I have in me. He will bring all that stuff to remembrance. All things he'll bring back to me. Yeah. Amen. 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 Good stuff. This will help you tonight. Mm -hmm. This will get let you know that there's more reason to have the Holy Spirit than just going around speaking in tongues, which is good. You should speak in tongues. I, I tell everybody you should speak in tongues every day. Yeah. I think you'll pray in tongues every day. Yes. <clears throat> Because you pray in tongues, you stir up your most holy faith. You can't even have the most holy yes. faith without praying in tongues. That's mm -hmm. why you need to pray in tongues. People ask me, why you want to sit around and talk like that? 
I want to sit around praying in tongues because I want the greatest faith that I can have yes. to come out of me at all times. Mm -hmm. And also, I know when I pray in tongues that he knows what to pray. So I'm praying the perfect prayer to God mm -hmm. in that right. moment that I'll ever pray. There's, I'll never pray a prayer that's as perfect as the prayer that the Holy Ghost prays through me. Because yeah. the Holy Ghost knows exactly what I need to pray in that moment. He is a Carlos moment prayer for me because yes. he knows exactly what I need to pray at that moment. That's right. So it's the best thing that happens. Yes. So so we need to understand that. Why we need the Holy Spirit. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. The Holy mm -hmm. Spirit needs to come and gives me help. Mm -hmm. He's my helper. Yes. Woo! And the only reason that I, I need the Holy Spirit for my help is I need help. Yes. Y'all all might not need no help. Everybody yeah. watching might not need help. But I need help. Like I need every day. I need every day, every day, every day, every day. I need That's help. Right. And my help comes from the Lord. Yes. And my help comes from the Holy oh, Spirit. Yeah. Thank you. He is my help. Amen. 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 All right. Well, John the Baptist, he said uh, he baptized in water, but there's one coming that's going to baptize you in the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and in fire. Mm -hmm. And then in Acts, um, you know, the Holy Spirit fell. And mm -hmm. the evidence that they were baptized in the Holy Spirit was the evidence of speaking, oh, speaking in tongues. Right. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you were going to pray for people tonight. Oh, I'm going to. And, and I'm going to do that. That's even, you brought that up. Like, what you must understand about that story, mm -hmm. not only did they just pray in tongues, but they had they had divers tongues yes. through the Holy Spirit, which gave them the ability to pray in other tongues of other languages right. that they didn't even know how to speak. That's mm -hmm. right. So I can go in a foreign country, step on the ground of a foreign country, and people's done this for yes. years, and they can step down on the ground, foreign country, and they speak English, and that's all they know is English, but they mm -hmm. have the Holy Spirit. Yes. Uh -huh. And you can step down on a foreign country, God don't always do this, but he can do this, and the Holy Spirit can do this. You can step down a foreign country, it's happened many times with many people. And and you step down that foreign country and, and God starts speaking through their language. Yes. Mm -hmm. You start talking to somebody through the language. I mean, I heard a story one time where someone prayed a prayer and and in years later someone heard that prayer and it was in their language and it gave them prophecy. Mm -hmm. Years later they heard that prayer. Yeah. And then at the time we just they just thought it was tongues and they recorded mm -hmm. it and they let somebody listen to it. Mm -hmm. And then it was another language. It was the language that they spoke and yeah. then God mm -hmm. used them to speak. Years later, into someone else's life, and told them all this through the Holy Spirit, through a recording. Mm -hmm. Like it was Bill Asher yeah, told me that story. Yeah. And it was a cool story because the Holy Spirit is so much greater than what we think it is than just an exciting service of a bunch yeah. of emotion. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit does lots more than that. Yeah. The Holy Spirit gives me the words to say, like you said earlier, when I don't have any. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's times when you have situations that you deal with people and they're broken, they're hurt, they're going through bad situations and, and life, life's not fair. It's just yes. not fair. There's nothing about it. it. brings them to just the unjust, not just us. The story everybody's saying, get saved and everything's wonderful. That's not a true mm -hmm. story. It's a lie. That's not the Bible, okay? The Bible says it brings them to just the unjust. There's going to be days that ain't fun. There's going to be days that's not fair. It's just part of it. It yeah. does for all of us. It doesn't matter. You're in, as long as you're in this world, you're going to be around this world. Mm -hmm. And things are going to happen because That's we're right. here. But the great thing about all that is, in all of that, the Holy Spirit can come in that time of hurt, brokenness, whatever's mm -hmm. going on, He can bring the peace that passes the yeah. 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 Right. He can bring the love that you know, mm -hmm. one understands. Right. He can bring the joy in the middle yes. of brokenness and hurt. He can bring happiness where there yes. shouldn't be no mm -hmm. happiness. He can bring understanding when there shouldn't be no understanding. He he brings to me everything I need because yes. he knows all things. Yes. Yes. There's no end to his knowledge. There's no end to what he knows. The Bible says he knows it all. Mm -hmm. So when, I, when I'm sitting there one day sometime and I'm just sitting around thinking, I don't know anything, God. I wish you could tell me sometime. And God says, well, I can tell you anything you want to know. Just ask the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Holy Spirit will tell you anything you want to know. So yeah, you may come up short on what knowledge you have, but there's no end to the knowledge that the Holy Spirit has. It just keeps going and going and going because it's eternal. It's forever. It's the beginning. Yes. He's the end. He's everything in between because he is part of the Godhead. He's the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He knows all. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's so greater than what we realize. We need the Holy Ghost. Yes. We need the Holy Ghost in our life. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, I think what I want to do is tonight is we're ending. 
And if you've got watch this later and you have a prayer request, please put them in the comments. Yes. yes. We, we're so glad you watched. If you joined us live and you watch us later. And if you join us later and we're not live, listen to me. There's no limit of time or destiny, distance or any of that with the Holy Spirit. That's right. So if you're watching this three hours, three years, three days, mm -hmm. whenever, again, and you don't have the Holy Spirit, you can get it. Yes. So you can receive it just like that because yes. it's a free gift and God has nothing to do with it. It comes through Jesus Christ. And I'm going to pray a prayer here in a minute over you. And if you don't have the Holy Spirit and you've been watching this video, you've been listening to us tonight, and uh, Paul asked me, he said, have you heard of the Holy Spirit? And they said, we've never heard of what you're talking about, that Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. So what I'm talking about is that Holy Spirit that Paul was talking about. Mm -hmm. Paul was talking about that Holy mm -hmm. Spirit, the same Holy Spirit that was in the upper room. That same Holy Spirit that Jesus said, I must go so that I can send one that would be better yes. than me. So he sent the Holy Spirit to us. That's the Holy Spirit I'm talking about tonight. I'm going to pray a prayer here in just a minute. And we're going to come in agreement with you that this gift is going to come to you because the Bible says that Jesus gives that gift. Yes. So I'm going to pray this prayer just in a second. And so I want you to get ready. If you, you, you don't have the Holy Spirit with the evidence speaking in tongues, I'm going to pray that God gives it to you. Tonight, not next week, not next year, yes. not next month. We're not going to make any excuses. There's no excuse. Paul said, if I want to give, I ask for it. He'll give it to me free. Freely, he gives the gifts. Yes. Okay. So we're going to pray this prayer, and then we're going to jump off there. This is Wednesday night. This is the Walk in Garden. We're so glad you joined us. Yes. We're glad you mm -hmm. spent some time with us tonight. We've loved being here with you. We'll be back next Wednesday night if we're not out of town or something's going on, but we'll be back with you as soon as we can. All right, let's pray. Okay. Lord, I just thank you tonight. I thank you tonight, God, that just people watching tonight are going to watch. They haven't received the Holy Spirit yet. They haven't had the power hit them yet. They haven't had to come into them. Well, they haven't had the evidence of speaking in tongues. They haven't received that power yet. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I baptize you in the power of the Holy Ghost. I baptize you in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ baptizes you in the power of the Holy Ghost tonight. And I thank you for that power right now to go into homes, to go into places, wherever anybody's at right now. I thank you that people are going to be baptized with the Holy Ghost right now in the name of Jesus. Baptize them with fire and Holy Spirit go and go into people's lives right now. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Receive, receive, receive yes. that tonight in your life. Ah, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Receive it. It's that easy. People make it complicated, but it's not complicated. It's a free gift. It's from Christ. Christ wants you to have it. He loves you. How much greater is the Father love to give you good gifts than your Father? He loves you. He wants to give you gifts. Receive that gift tonight of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, Hallelujah. Uh, if you did get the Holy Ghost tonight, please let us know. Please let us know. Thank Love you. to hear about that. People does get the Holy Ghost watching these videos. All right. Jesus fills people with the Holy Spirit. Jesus heals people. If you need a healing or not, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Just receive that. It's a right. gift. It's, it's a gift from God. He right. wants to heal. He loves to heal. The reason he loves to heal, he took stripes for your heal. Right. So if you need deliverance, you need healing, you need any of that stuff, now I want you to receive that. And if you're watching tonight and the Spirit of God's arresting you, mm -hmm. and you just feel like oh, something came through this video into your house, yes. and it filled the room and started pulling you and said, I need to get, and you don't serve God. Or maybe you got away from God. Maybe you quit going to church. Maybe you quit serving God. Maybe you never did serve God. Maybe you have and never down. Maybe something's filled your room. That's the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. And maybe He's drawing you back to tonight. Yes. I want to pray with you tonight. The Holy Spirit's drawing. The Holy Spirit ain't drawing. Don't pray. It's useless. It's useless without the Holy Spirit drawing. No man can be saved. It's the Spirit drawing them. To be saved. But the Spirit's drawn. You feel something tugging on your heart. You feel something that's came in your room, in your house, wherever you are, cars, wherever. If there's something tonight that's drawing you back to God or to God for the first time, I want you to pray with me tonight this prayer. Lord, come into my life. I believe that you died on a cross for my sins. 
I believe that you died and you was resurrected for me. Me, me alone. Make it personal. I want you to come. I want you to be my Lord. I want you to be my Savior. I want you to be my King. I want you to lead and direct and guide me. Come into my heart, Lord, and take me where you want me to go from this night forward. In Jesus' name, I pray this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. And the Spirit draws you tonight and you said that prayer and you believe it in your heart and you confess it with your mouth. You're as saved as anybody's ever been saved. Now you need to find your local church. You need to find your local church that you believe that God can use you at. You need yeah. to get plugged in. You need to get under some leadership. You need somebody to guide you, direct you, disciple you. And salvation without discipleship is useless. Yes. It means nothing. You'll not be able to make it. It's like having a baby laying on the streets and no one taking care of it. It'll die. You must be disciple. He didn't even say go make converts. He said make disciples of all nations. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you said that prayer with us tonight or whenever you watch this video, if you said that prayer, yeah. find you a local church, get plugged Amen. in to somewhere yes. and start serving the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul. Go after Jesus. One day I'll see you in heaven. Amen. Amen. One day I'll see you in heaven. That's right. Amen. 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 God bless you. We love you, Lord. We pray for you. And we bless you in Jesus' name. Till next time, Amen. this is the walk in the garden. Amen.